Nah, nah, because I went to the fucking doctors today. And I'm going to show you what the fuck they said. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what the fuck they said, man. You got COVID? You got HIV, bro? Yeah, I probably got it from fucking you. No, you didn't get it from me. Why I didn't? You the only person I'm You the only person I'm fucking, so who else I'm gonna get it from? Oh, shoot. Who the fuck I'm gonna get it from? Besides you. I tell, him. tell who? I gotta tell him. Bro, hear me out. What you mean, hear you out? Oh, my God. What you mean, hear you out, though? Like, what you mean by that, though? What you mean, hear you out? Nah, nah, because I'm... Bro, imagine telling your girl that I got HIV and I probably got it from you. And the first thing she says, oh my God, I got to tell him. Woo! Let's just say that HIV is a life-changing obstacle. Now, science has made it where you can live a comfortable life while having being HIV positive. Okay. Every day, my my resilience is being tested. Now I want to say something, but I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna border around the lines of cancellation, and y'all know how I feel about cancellation. But um, I don't understand how people be deaf and ratchet. In I'm walking that line. I'm walking that line right there. But I don't understand how you be deaf and ratchet. It it just doesn't make any sense. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Nothing. What's going on with you? I'm in the process of shooting a video. Is everything okay? Yes. Until you answered the phone like. <laughs> I thought I gave you the professional um. Answer. But why are you talking to me professional? I'm your wife. I'm not your supervisor. That's your button? You oh, see I've seen this. Word. What up, man? Pizza, pizza, what's up? What's up? Your button? What's up, buttons? What's up, pizza, pizza? You see Mr. Button? What's up, Joey Buttons? Tough guy? <laughs> Tough guy? Written Button? Hey, Buttons, Buttons! What's up, Pizza? That's Joe Button? Alright, so I've seen this video, bro. Um, The guy speaking, holding the camera, his brother got caught up in a, a Ponzi scheme with real estate. And, um, he got caught up with DJ Envy. Okay? And... Joe Buttons came out and said, yo, I've been told J DJ Envy that this dude was a scammer and this, that, and the third. Okay, so if Joe Buttons is out on a date or he's out with a friend, this guy happens to be in the vicinity and pulls his camera out and now we get what we're seeing here. All I can say, bro, the internet and clout can show you how corny people are. So I'm going to be real with you, bro. I be worried about shit like this. Like, I know I do YouTube. And it's a lot of people who might know me that I don't know them. But so far, every subscriber that I have met have been really cool. I met this guy at the uh, car wash. He's cool as hell. I've met dudes on the highway while I was driving that had slowed down to be like, Yo, bro, I'll be looking at all your videos. I met people at the basketball court. So far, knock on wood, dog, knock on wood. Everybody that I've met have been really cool. I haven't met no clout chasers as of yet, and I'm happy for that. This is this falls along the line as to why I don't want to get too big on YouTube, bro. Once your name is able to move the algorithm, that's when it becomes a problem. 
that's when people start using you as a meal ticket. And they don't care what they say and who they hurt when they say it. That is one of the reasons. You see it all the time. The formula on YouTube right now. The formula to get big on YouTube right now. Is to expose somebody. They're going to find a content creator who has a big following. And they're going to try their best to find something about them. To expose. They're going to find some way to use some type of word gymnastics. How the f*** do you guys literally kiss someone? on their forehead and say see you later and start planning things like weeks in advance and then just decide like one day that they're just like not interested yeah i don't understand either i'm gonna be real with you um females do it all the time that's like a chick talking you up telling you all her life stories and then y'all go out on a dinner date and she don't talk to you no more. And then she sends pictures and videos to her close friends on Instagram telling them how she just used you for a meal. It's about the same thing. I'm going to come to your house at 5 in the morning. I promise you that. We're on insurance policy. Your mammy got it. Yeah. Your mammy got it. For what? For nothing, you piece of shit. <laughs> like I said. Like I said. If she called me to put you, you I don't want you to leave. You got a motherfucking gun. You talking shit. I'm, I mean, oh, I need a gun for? Because you you. you gave me one. I saw it on the hip. You know what I'm saying? What I need it for? Oh, man. Oh, man. She, <laughs> she living filthy. She living filthy, y'all. Bruh. The same motherfucker, that, that long titty motherfucker that I was talking about, I said I was coming back. This how she living. Like I said, you know she ain't washed her ass. How the fuck you gonna wash your ass in there? Where's she sleeping? Put that pen. Come on, get up in. Do the light work? Oh my god. When my boy be talking about getting into real estate and all that, I be thinking about stuff like this. This man, it, shoot, even with him, bro. This man got himself a nice job in the buying a crib, and he had the, the, one of his first tenants was a tenant from hell. This bitch paid one month's rent and stayed there for like nine months before he could finally get her out. He had to pay, yo, that shit was so foul, dog. And then when she, when he ended up getting her out, I still don't think the apartment is ready. Because her apartment was like this. Like her apart he said her apartment smelled crazy. It was a dude that came from the city that had to go do something in there. Walked up in there. After he left, he called him. He's like, man, listen, dog. You need to get that shit fumigated. I ain't telling you not to invest in real estate. A lot of millionaires and billionaires are real estate investors. But that's not for me. I'd rather invest in the stock market and stuff like that.